My name is Ken Farber. I'm the president of the Lucas Research Alliance, and we're here to talk about a topic that's been on everyone's minds, and that topic is vaccines for COVID-19. In this video series, we'll discuss how COVID-19 vaccines might impact lupus patients. I've already told you that the way vaccines used to be developed is by taking a virus that causes illness and killing the virus or severely weakening it so it can cause disease. The problem is developing vaccines using that older technology typically takes years or even decades. We don't have years or decades to wait for a new COVID-19 vaccine. We need a vaccine that's safe, effective, and can be administered as soon as possible. The good news is, is that there are a variety of new technologies which are allowing us to develop COVID-19 vaccines far more quickly than we might ever have been able to before. There are actually three technologies I wanna to talk to you about and messenger RNA technology, an adenovirus technology, and a protein-based technology. The first technology I wanna to talk to you about is called mRNA technology or messenger RNA technology. What they do is they take something called messenger RNA and they attach to the messenger RNA instructions on how to produce the spike protein. The virus that causes COVID-19 is literally surrounded by spikes that emanate from the center of the virus. What the spikes do is they allow the virus to enter the cells of the body. It hijacks the machinery of the cells to turn them into little virus producing factories. So how do these mRNA vaccines work? They take messenger RNA and they attach to that messenger RNA the instructions on how to make spike protein. Those instructions are then dropped off inside of the cells and your cells then begin to manufacture spike protein. Your cells then produce spike protein, and guess what? When the immune system sees that spike protein, it learns how to attack and destroy it. If you then come in contact with a real, live, disease-causing virus, the COVID-19 virus, and if that virus is decorated with spike protein, your body recognizes that that spike protein does not belong there, and it already knows how to attack and destroy it. And that's why a vaccinated person with these mRNA vaccines won't get sick. The second new vaccine technology relies on something called an adenovirus. Adenoviruses are ubiquitous in the environment. Specifically, what they do is they take a non-disease causing adenovirus and they attach to that virus the genetic instructions which teach cells how to make spike protein. The patient is vaccinated, the adenovirus drops off the genetic instructions which teach cells how to make spike protein. That spike protein is released into the body. The body's immune system sees the spike protein and learns how to attack and destroy the spike protein. If the patient then comes in contact with a real SARS-CoV-2 virus, the body's immune system remembers, the body mounts a defense against the spike protein and it destroys the virus that causes COVID-19. The third technology is based on something that we call a protein technology. The protein vaccines use a more direct approach. 
they literally deliver spike protein to the patient in the form of a vaccine. The problem is that the protein-based vaccines may not be quite as robust as some of the other vaccine technologies. But the good news is there's a way around that. What we do is we use something called adjuvants to make the immune system hyper vigilant. When you take these adjuvants, the protein-based vaccine becomes robust. It, it becomes capable of producing an immune response to the spike protein. If the body is then exposed to a COVID-19 virus, the body already knows how to attack and destroy that virus. Thanks for joining us this week. Please join us again when we'll continue our discussion about COVID-19 vaccines and their impact on lupus.